I was talking to Boger at the Overwatch Creator Summit, and he was talking to me about how his Life Weaver, unranked to GM, took so long and it was so stressful. And he finally made a 42 minute video on it. But apparently the production value is really, really good. So we're gonna we're gonna check it out. Three months to make this video. Six months. Oh, this is actually really fucking good production value. Damn! Boger life. This story begins during the 27th of April. Overwatch 2 viewership still continues to drop, and Boger is searching for new content to pay for his protein bars. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you though. I love Boger, but don't get me wrong. New content, unranked to GM, that is not new content. That shit is boring. I would never do that. But it's also the week where Lifeweaver got enabled and ranked. So the silly little guy has a brilliant idea. But he does what have a lot of hair. Lifeweaver and ranked to GM. How hard could it be? Look into my fucking dead eyes. April 27! Just use your little boots! Stop having this fucking loser mentality. It's fucking green! I am a rank 7 tank player. We win this game if you stop bitching. April! Go to a fucking doctor and check your brain, man. He hasn't used that boost in 6 minutes. If I played better, we win that game. <laughs> what the f Turns out, it's pretty damn hard. But to be fair, I never held the illusion that I'll actually finish this challenge. Especially considering the fact that every other streamer is stuck in plat. But I had a dream. What if I was the very first person to reach GM on life? What Fever? is that? I wasn't the best support player by far. There were plenty of other support players that were much better. But most of them didn't even want to attempt the challenge. And those that did failed miserably so i thought to myself i had a fighting chance and what would be the worst thing that could actually happen so just like any other clueless streamer i queue up on my new account and do placements for the first time guys what rank what rank what rank no no I, i'm not doing predictions are you ready guys Oh, Plat free. <laughs> that's pretty good Plat i finally three. managed to place my account after going five and four which, to be honest, was pretty good, considering the fact that I'm a Winston player that has never played Life Weaver in their life. The only thing I knew for certain was that this will not be an easy journey. Life Weaver is an absolutely horrible support, and he used to be much, much worse. I was not having fun. He's, he's actually better now. Life Weaver is actually really mirror, good. And I see nothing. A void. An empty void. Some people might come into my stream and be welcomed by my warm greeting but there's nothing there it's empty wait oh i was about to say there's no way that's his setup right there's 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 no way i was about to say this looks like an xqc setup bro ain't no way nothing there it's empty and now it's time for evil Booger. <laughs> what do you do when Borg gets into your game Let's play Life Weaver. Now, to be fair, it wasn't all bad. I started getting better and better with this hero after every game that I played. And I started making some pretty pock champ plays, if I say so myself. Oh, oh, he used the pen, the, the pen to I block the... Cool plays, wow. I also had some pretty wholesome interactions. Yeah, watch this. Watch this, Rob. Watch this. Punch up, punch up. Do it. Make me proud. Yes. I did it, Maxwell. <laughs> I did it, Maxwell. <laughs> but even when I played my best, I still struggled so much. And why is that? Well, it was pretty simple. Even when I played my best and I tried to carry by saving teammates and healing and even dealing some damage, the damage was negligible and saving someone that's already throwing the game anyways doesn't really matter. If I save Boner Fart 47 five times in a row but he's not able to hit a single shot, it doesn't really matter, right? So Life Weaver didn't add anything, he just pushed people to play better but if these people were bad at the game, 
they were still bad at the game anyways i digress this is not a part of the journey nor the story i just want to explain a little bit about life weaver i talk more about it in a different video so go check that one out it's gonna be down a in the thousand games After a full day of grinding and suffering i actually managed to rank up to plat 2 it only took me 25 games plat 2 Dude, this now, man, day, to play a thousand ranking. games of yeah, Life Weaver, this guy has to have the mental of a fucking god, dude. Plot gamers were so mind-boggling that I just couldn't help but tilt. Why do you go there? Guys, if you're in plot, I want you out of my chat right now. I'll fucking burn about you. How are you in this fucking elo? Why does he go back? What the fuck? Now, to be fair, I do feel bad trash talking these players, and I do not think it's fair. Many of these people are casual gamers that are just enjoying the game or playing with friends. I did keep it out of voice chat unless somebody trash talked me because my anger is my anger alone. But to be fair, some of the things I saw at this rank were absolutely insane and indescribable. Why? <laughs> you animal! You actual animal! What the he pulled the soldier right? back that was anti and he Even ran back in. played horribly, I could still not blame them for every loss that happened. I was not perfect either. Is that funny? Now, the hardest part about this entire challenge was people giving up for no reason. It was so abundant and it was crazy. I feel like I would have reached GM so much sooner if people stopped losing the games that they already won for no reason. Here is a very good example of what I'm talking about. This game was the last win I needed to rank up. And as you can see, we were pretty close to capping and we have plenty of time in the bank. But for some reason, my teammate starts demanding that my Widowmaker swaps. It's just kind of pointless. At which point he gets really angry and starts berating the Widow. And what was Widow's response? She leaves the game. What was the point of this entire interaction? Why did we have Damn. to lose a game we already won? And don't worry, you're gonna see a lot more examples of this throughout this entire video. Yeah, the, we lost the game. We literally won the game. It, it is crazy. People are wild. Like you win the game a hundred. That is that is true. A hundred percent. That is true, bro. I do not understand how you function as a normal member of society you go outside how do you manage the combination of how bad this hero was this is actually boger actually blew my mind with how good this unranked right, gm is really and i hate unranked gm i think unranked gm is boring content because you're taking a gm or a really good player already and putting him in a lower elo that they does don't deserve to be in but actually Boker did this pretty well. Stupid. Forced me. I think it's an ego booster. Yeah, like, why would I... Wait, Boger's wearing the same shirt as me. Who fits it better, chat? Who fits it better? Wow, of course you guys are gonna say him. You guys are just a bunch of fucking trolls. You guys never take my side. It's crazy. I'm really creative with my abilities. Let's go around. <laughs> this is pretty funny. After this one team fight, we managed to win the game and I managed to secure oh Plat 1. God. Plat 1! I am Plat 1! This made me realize that I have- Wait, is this on his main account? His tank was 153. No, this not. This is not his main Plat account. One. It's probably an alt account, right? This Maxwell. This made me realize that I have forgotten I don't, I don't know where everyone's alt accounts. ranking up in competitive games. This is why I enjoyed this challenge. I liked having something to work towards. Yeah, I feel like most of these things are like ego boosters. Ah, though. this character sucks! He sucks! I've been chasing him around the map, hitting my every shot on him. And he just two shots me. What the actual fuck? Yeah, Kiri, good character, by the way. Start this on rank to GM. Am I a victim of my own hubris? Yeah, I did it. 
I got to top 500 with Winston and I thought I was gone. I thought I could do it. I thought I could easily just get to GM on Life Weaver. But instead the gods are punishing me. Every living second I spend playing in Plot Elo. It takes one hour away from my life. Soon there will be nothing left of me. Soon this is... there will be nothing left. Wait, chat, this is so sad. Can we, can, we, can we get five gifted? But my mental breakdown did not stop me from winning more games and eventually ranking up once again. Please! He went five and five! Yes! He went five and five and he ranked up. Reaching Diamond was quite an achievement for me and for the entire community, especially if you consider the fact that at this point most people were stuck in flat. After getting to Diamond, nothing really happened. I just kept queuing and I kept winning games and I kept climbing up the ranks. From Diamond 5 to Diamond 4 and from Diamond 4 to Diamond 2 and it was going pretty well. I was on my way to get to Masters. But it wasn't that simple after all. There were a few obstacles on my way. In this new division, I started meeting some pretty unique individuals. And those individuals were usually very insecure DPS players that would absolutely lose their mind because I was playing Life as if that would change the fact that they had less than 1k damage in 2 minutes and 0 kills. Like, one of our DPS has under 1k damage, he's 0 4. You are... What do you mean you don't have the pocket? You have the pocket. Man, I... <laughs> Man, don't be 0 4. Now, to be fair, I do not believe that engaging in conversation with these animals was the wisest choice. It just meant that I would probably lose the game because they would get more tilted, but I could not help myself. The higher I climbed, the more likely it was that I would get some teammate that had a huge ego just because they peaked Diamond or Masters. True! That was really annoying because everyone True! argued with me and tried to gamer explain me how to play Overwatch, even though I have over 10,000 hours and have peaked top 10 multiple times and I played contenders as well. But do not get it twisted, just because I climbed in rank and had more more competitive lobbies did not mean that my teammates had a brain in the choke <laughs> excuse me what another battle that i was facing at the same time while doing this unranked gm was trying to deal with my twitch chat this challenge was oh this is gonna be the best part dealing with twitch chat oh, i want to see this this is probably gonna be the funniest shit ever the overwatch community which meant i had a lot of new frogs that in turn meant that i had a lot of new chatters that were really really silly and by silly i mean they would ask me what my rank was even though it's written on the screen true true i remember having drops start in like three hours and then people would come to my chat and be like hey j3 when do drops start they would ask me if i'm doing an unranked ugm and a lot of the fran frogs would come into my stream and tell me to give up because the fran gave up after all how could i complete the challenge if their god gamer had given up true Which led to me doing resident a sleeper monologues and rants on stream you give up this easily what else do you give up on so easily? On your dreams? True! On your desires? True! What? Are you one of the people who go like, Oh, I can't go to the gym. I'm too weak. I can't do this. I'm too weak. I'm too True. bad. True! Well, not I me. I can't get there. I'm too bad. We'll get better. Not me. It doesn't matter. Just get better. But I managed to push not on. Me, bro. Even though my chat was really stupid and get to diamond one which meant that i was one rank up away from reaching masters but i do feel like some gamers were justified to hate on me <gasps> oh, no! 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 <laughs> as we're getting nearer to masters 5 i do want to remember all the awesome people i met and ranked that made my experience absolutely unforgettable sit behind the wall 
What do you mean, man? If you don't peek and sit on point, we win. That's crazy. Man, I I smurf your fucking peak, man. Listen to me. You are 30. You are 13 and 15. You are 13 and 15. Listen to me. You cannot. If it's not your life, don't argue then. Don't argue then. Don't argue then. If you don't care, why do you care? I do want to give a special shout out to this Doomfist player that was 3 in 7 in my ranked game. If any of you find out who it is, tell him he has a free coaching session from me. The Frank, you turn your mono on, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, I'm trying. The match, I can't die, dude. A lot of people ask me if I'm having fun playing Life Weaver. The answer is very simple. No, I'm not. Also, a lot of people <laughs> ask me if I want to get to GM5 or GM1. The answer is GM5. This video and this entire challenge was on grinding to GM5. I did not want to keep grinding to GM1. That is just mentally ill. I also saw a lot of comments that look like this. Over, over, over. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you doing this to yourself? Wah, wah. You should just give up. Take a break. No, I will not give up. It's not in my nature. I rather sacrifice everything and finish this and rank to GM than run away. It's like I don't care about pain anymore. More important than pain is my desire to be the first GM Life Weaver. After playing so many games with Life Weaver, I felt like I was in the Matrix. I could predict what the enemy team was doing, what they were gonna do, what ults they had, how to counter their ults, how to win the fights. I knew that if I wanted to truly climb, a plunder, Prince of Master Prime sub, my friend, a liquid, Prince of Master six months, for example, Ox if for five has months. Blade, I need to save my platform and my pool because if he goes on me, I can platform myself up or dash away. And if he goes for my teammate, I had to pull them and save them. I tried my best and I pushed as much as I can. If I screwed up once, it was over and it paid off because after a lot of tears and sweat, I managed to peak Mastix 5. Now, I do not have the clip of me getting to Mastix 5, but you can enjoy this very beautiful screenshot. As you can see, I was very excited. After I got to Mastix 5, a lot of my teammates became really creative with the way they use my abilities. What is the dog doing? What? Just... <laughs> what? He got the Thor? No shot! That did not save me from having to deal with how horrible this hero was. Why can't I fucking pull him? What the fuck? But no matter how shit this hero was, I still kept going in and grinding and climbing. I got to Masters 3, so close to GM5, I could smell it. I thought this challenge would be over. Everyone else failed, but look at Boer. He's there and he's gonna do <laughs> it. I was so excited, but I was so wrong. Oh God, was I wrong. We can win again. And then I'm gonna do right. This will be painful. You have to be with me. <laughs> I don't want to click. <laughs> 5 and 13! 5 and 13! I have those days. Okay, Master's 5. It's not diamond. It's not diamond. If I want to do something, I go do it. And nobody I can yada, fucking show me. Mean. Appreciate the massive two months. Maybe we do need to press a Q. Not every Q on my... This guy's good job, I'm so proud of you. Point, guys, you're fucking stupid! What the fuck?! <laughs> I'm higher ranked than all of you combined. You wish you were my right. What's your peak? What's your peak? What? I'm ranked 7! You're fucking dogs! You're dogs! I wouldn't- I can't- I can't do that. I can't do what Boger does, like, insulting people like that. You guys are st I can't. That shit is- I'm too nice, chat. I'm dog. too nice, right? You think it says there? What other? I would maybe be able to notice the rank if it wasn't half hidden by a huge red circle. What does that say? Masters? Rank could it be? EI Mont. Do you think it says Masters there? What do you think it says? EI Mont. We might Diamond. Why is he saying EI Mont? <laughs> I love Boger. I stayed the same rank. You in Diamond too? What? I didn't know it was in Diamond too. Thank you for typing that with an emoji at the end. D I mon. <laughs> I didn't know. What? I D rank, guys. I because the D is blocked. Don't worry, Wally. Three weeks, it won't be blocked anymore. 
I'll see you at I'll see you at BlizzCon. <laughs> Why, what life weaver on rank to GM does? I was stuck in diamond for so long that I became a diamond legend. People knew about Maxwell and his journey to GM. It was truly inspiring to meet my fans in ranked. Oh, Maxwell. What's up, Maxwell? 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 Oh my god, is that Maxwell? The Maxwell? Oh, Maxwell? Is that Maxwell? Is that the Maxwell? Oh, Maxwell? 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 Oh my god, is that Maxwell? 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 Max
There's no fucking rules to this game, okay? There's no fucking rules. After a few days of meditation on the TR Magic, we tried to do that. refresh my mind and got ready to play again. I had to be the Michael Jordan of Lankier so that I win every game. If I got five wins in a row, I would shoot up to Diamond. Five more wins, easy masters. And after that, if I didn't go on a losing streak, I would probably get to GM. It was very, very doable, especially with all the new experience I acquired playing on my older account. Maxwell taught me so much, but I had to sacrifice him if I wanted to get to GM without having a mental breakdown. Nevertheless, Maxwell's sacrifice opened up the doors to Eugene. Eugene was the chosen one. I could finally put an end to this and rank to GM and be free. I was gonna be the first person to get to GM on Life Weaver. That's a win, baby. That's the win. That's a fucking win. That's one win. Two wins, two wins. My team are the goats. They don't even need me. They grow up so fast. They grow up so fast. Three zero. Don't get your hopes up. Four wins. Four wins. This is actually so fucking well done. Five oh. Five oh. The final! The final! Diamond free! This is the run. I was 5-0. and zero. I was so excited. And chat was excited. The other streamers, they were crying. I was getting closer and closer to my goal. I just had to keep at it. I just had to keep the pace and not run out of steam. We lost. And then I lost the next game. But that was okay. One loss wasn't the end of the world. Fuck the English language! I want weep stuff! You can do it! The night wings. They're real. Oh my fucking god! 10 1! What rank? Diamond 1? What? I got scammed! That's right. I got 10 wins and 1 loss, over 90% win rate. I was by far the best Life Weaver player out there and it was not even close. And it was so shocking for me because when I was playing Winston and I was doing my ranked gem on that hero, I actually lost one game as well. But I got put in Masters after my second placement. So this made no sense whatsoever. How do I get Diamond Kobe, 1 Kobe Yashi, appreciate the Masters 6 loss. months. But that did not make me give up. I was more determined than ever to get to G especially with this kind of win rate okay. my game crushed my game crushed with this no so yeah i killed three Damn. people on my team and then i also got dc'd which meant i lost a lot of mmr after that little incident i decided to take a break and continue the next day it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. And the next day I managed to do the same thing again. Kind of unfortunate. Outside of those two pools, the games were going great anyways. I managed to D-rank even though I went positive because I DC'd. And then afterwards I went on a losing streak, which obviously made me really sad. God. <laughs> we won. Whoa, what was that animation? Wait a minute, go back. Losing streak, which obviously made me really sad. God. <laughs> hey! Whoa! Oh, oh, we won! Oh my fucking god, we won! When doing placements and after you do placements on a new account, it's very important to keep a winning streak going. Every loss matters a lot because your MR is very, very unstable, which means you lose a lot of SR when you lose a game. And vice versa, if you win a game, you will gain a lot of SR and climb really, really fast. That's why in unranked to GMs, you usually see people shoot up the ranks in the first couple of games. Anyways, check out this clip. <gasps> Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Hey! 
Hey! I also found out a really OP strategy on Life Weaver. Do not join voice chat. Um, after I stopped being in voice chat, when you don't talk to people, they, that's it, you know? Just don't I, I actually no cannot do say, that. I, I can't understand so people who don't join so voice chat. I, lo I love voice chat. voice chat. I managed to climb my way up to Masters 3 again, way faster than the other account. After I got to Masters 3, I got stuck there for a while. A lot of people started telling me that I need to be in voice chat and shot call as if that's gonna change anything and as if people are gonna listen to me. So, I got pretty tilted. I need- I'm fucking parma banning you, motherfucker. What do you mean I need to shot call? Do you understand that this fucking animal doesn't speak English probably and is out of voice chat? Every time I shot call, people just fucking call me the N-word. I don't laugh, man. I'm tilted. Don't fucking tilt me more. I'll fucking ban you. True! Yeah, you hear that? Streamers are people too. Playing stupid games, you win stupid prizes. True! Prize. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Somebody who has 10,000 hours in this game. Do not shot call. Stop talking with voice chat unless you want to be silly or give out some useful information. Do not make plans. It's useless. I believe that it's useless unless you're playing in a top 10 lobby or a top 500 lobby. In most scenarios, you're wasting your time. Why is that? A lot of people are not in voice chat. A lot of people are not listening to you. A lot of people will get tilted at you. For Why is that? A lot of people are not in voice chat. A lot of people are not listening to you. A lot of people will get tilted at you for telling them what to do. A lot of your plans are probably really, really stupid because you don't have enough experience. You will not be focused on your own gameplay. You'll be focused on other people's gameplay. Is he working out while fucking you playing? Plan and people don't follow it. And plenty of other reasons. I won't get into details about it, but I really, really hate... You would actually get so fucking huge if you... No every time you lost you the game, you just... You don't have to shot go. Just sit there and play Did like game. 10 you bicep curls. Okay? Anyways, run over. For a while, nothing really happened. I just went on a huge losing streak. Again. Also, we're gonna need to understand. I'm the biggest Overwatch creator, bro. No one can outlift me. <laughs> and yeah, I went on a huge losing streak and ranked to Mass 6 5. But it has happened before, so it didn't really matter that much. I also want to give a special shout out to Frogger for supporting me throughout this journey. Shut the fuck up, Frogger! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> and after a while, with a lot of tears and suffering, I finally managed to do it. I managed to get to Masters 2. This was a big step forward. I couldn't stay too happy though because there were still two ranks to climb through. I still had to get to Masters 1 and then to GM5. There was still a lot of work to do even though I got really close. I had to get to the finish line in one piece. But no matter how hard I tried, Blizzard Entertainment had different <laughs> plans for me. I would personally what was like that Blizzard? to Barack Obama <laughs> because after I got to Masters 2, it did not take me long to get to Masters 1. It was truly thrilling. Every single other streamer was stuck in plat and diamond, but I alone was standing on the summit. I was hey, almost there, and everyone else. This editor did a great job. It, it is impossible. Unless. How am I? I was already 17%! I didn't move! I went 5 and 3. I did not expect to rank up to GM, but I did lose yeah, MMR. Go, the percentage was higher before the 5 3. Goofy, pretty much in 4 months. Proof, but it used to be around 20%. Thankfully, the matchmaking took pity on me. I went on a free game winning streak, and I only needed 2 more wins, which meant the challenge was basically over. Right? My chase is fine. Sorry, 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 sorry,
I went on a 7 game losing streak and deranked to Mastix 2. And if you think this is bad, I promise you it gets much worse. Five and eleven. Oh! Oh! oh the bad games are done. And this was officially the beginning of my complete descent into madness. I was so angry at myself, at this ranked system, and at that one Russian dude. He managed to start a chain reaction, which completely ruined me. And I also kept thinking to myself, if this was the old Overwatch 1 ranking system, this challenge would already be over. I could finally take a break and focus on my studies. All of this was happening in the middle of my exam session. This was the last year of university and I was spending so much time on this challenge because I was hell-bent on completing it before anyone else. I wanted to be the first. I was so angry and I was so disappointed. I was angry at the ranking system. I was angry at that Russian dude. I was angry at- Oh brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> I wanted this to be over, I had so much to do. God, man. <laughs> I've been streaming this dog shit character for the last month. For the last month I've been playing him. I just want to be released. April 27th. Release me, please. And after that miserable 20 hour long stream, I went to sleep defeated. The fire within me was completely extinguished. All right, I have an idea. What if I make a third account and I go in and win every placement? No! And this time Why? I get to Why are you doing that? For sure. Yes! And so, yeah, I made a third account and it was a complete disaster. People were jumping off the map and I ended up at 3 and 2, which made me place in plat games. So I just kind of gave up. I decided that if I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it on UG. Unfortunately for me, I was already deep within the abyss and there was no light in sight. But there was still a sliver of hope remaining. Blizzard decided to take pity on me and released a new patch. And this patch, they buffed Lifeweaver, which made him finally viable. It definitely does way more damage. It definitely does way more damage. These Lifeweaver buffs filled me with determination. And the flame within me was once Wait, again is this the one reignited. where they actually like? It was finally time to no, finish. It's not the current life weaver now, right? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> wow, that's a crazy game, actually. That was one meter difference. I'm like here. <laughs> I'm not trapped in here with you! You're trapped in here with me! Damn! I that was nice! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Bugger's having fun I now. GM five game. That's you. That's you. That's chat. That's literally chat. That's literally chat. That's you guys. That's literally you. That's literally you. This is chat. Two more wins. Two more wins. No, I can't swap. I'm sorry. But I'm on a five game win streak. I need two more wins and I can stop playing this hero. I beg of you guys. This is it. Thank you guys. You're the best. Guys, if you get against me, throw the game. I have one more game. When everybody else gave up, I was here and I was grinding. The indomitable. Wait, is this spirit. another account? Stay point, stay point. Stay point! Ooh! Fuck off! Stay point! Fuck Damn! <laughs>
Pro Mage, appreciate the massive Prime sub, my friend. And Kairikyo, appreciate the massive 29 months. Listen, guys, this is the most important game of your fucking lives, okay? You have to give it your all. The culmination of everyone's hard work is in this game. Fucking play out of your fucking minds, okay? I want to see the nastiest shatters. The biggest blades. I got your back, guys. I hope the enemy team gets a fucking VC, and I hope my Tracer is literally Kevstar on fucking Adero. It's fucking doable! Keep fighting. Damn! Oh, nice so dodge! Broken. That was a nice dodge. I want them to EP. Yes. That's so good. Fight on point, fight on point. Yeah, Don't fight. I want to bait the EMP. Because they're winning condition. And then next fight, we just win the game. Regroup, regroup. Nice kill. Oh just my god. Live, just live right. Chad just live. fucking just live. Reinhardt player. We win this game. Chad fucking okay, Reinhardt player. Right. Let's push, push, push. Don't push, uh, don't push the point. Leave the point, leave the point. Leave the point, leave the point. Do you want that one point? The rank up? Maybe. I'm five and one. Oh. We fucking did it! Yeah. The good fucking ending. Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Thank you everybody for their gifties. Thank you for watching. Twenty hours on this account. Thank you so much. This is crazy. I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Thank you so much for the gifties. This is crazy. Chat is going crazy. I can't keep up with all these fucking subs and follows. This is like, it's like I'm getting view botted. I, I don't know what to say. It's time to do it, guys. 60 W's. Grandmaster 1. Grandmaster 5. Fuck. That's crazy. Oh my fucking god. It's fucking done. I am the first. And just like that, I became the very first person to complete a solo unranked GM Life Weaver only challenge. It was a really rough and emotional experience. As you can see in the background, I'm actually crying, which might seem silly to you, but you have to understand that I dedicated three months of my life and my time to sit there and grind Life Weaver 10 hours a day. And even though many other people gave up, I still kept going at it, no matter how many times I deranked. The more I climbed towards GM5, the closer I got, the more heartwarming it became the more emotional of an experience I had. Not to mention that there were so many wholesome people along the way that cheered me on and supported me after every win, after every loss. There were people, especially in NA, who would say, you can do it, Boru, don't give up. And every time I read a message like that, I knew that the entire community, in a way, was riled up behind me and wanted me to succeed. Now, obviously, I didn't put everything that happened during the Sunranked Gem inside this video purely because it is over 200 hours of footage and I can't do that. I was graduating university at the same time as I was making this video which meant I was very short on time and I had to cut the video short. I'm honestly surprised I managed to fit all of this footage in a 45 minute video. And before you ask, I graduated with a cybersecurity degree and no, I will not be looking for a full-time job. I will keep streaming and making content. Finally, I want to thank everyone that watched this video and supported the channel up to this moment. Yo! My hair was once like that, chat. Just want to let you guys know. I want to thank everyone that watched the unranked gm as it was happening live on twitch.tv slash boger yeah, now i know that many of you have plenty of questions that you want to ask <laughs> now my hair's like that it took it took that's that's the story of my life right here between this frame and the next this was my life.tv slash boger yeah, now now that's my life
What do you mean proof? There's proof on my Instagram, bro. Bro, look at that man. That was middle school J3. Look at that man. One of the best fucking... I hate, I hate unranked GMs, but that was a really good fucking... That was a good one. That was a good one, dude. Usually unranked GMs or a bunch of people... Wait, what, what the fuck is this? Trolling J3 with Life Weaver. Wait, what is this? I was just gonna say, I actually think unranked GMs are dog shit ego boosting fucking players who need that fucking ego boost. And I, I was gonna say, Bogers was actually pretty fucking fun, but fuck this guy! Trolling J3 with Life Weaver!